era it brings a lot of memories i'm sure that even you sometimes when you listen to the song you're like charlie we did things oh. yeah. <laughs> sometimes when i listen to swing mm. then i will say hey the rap was i mean so but now charlie our focus is money 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 tell me about it so when did you be begin to think that you know I, our focus is money was it that you're already making money back then when we were hearing the bangers and all that from uh, you you know back then we were in love with the art mm. but now we are in love with the art and money <laughs> that's showbiz you know what it is like <laughs> when you say back then you were in love with the art does it mean that you were fetching money it wasn't paying or you were just like okay the money will come what was it like back then? Um, I think when everybody starts having business, you do things for free for a while, and then it shoots like poof. Then the money starts coming. Mm. You know what it mm. is like. Mm. <laughs> but I, I, I've heard that you you did a lot of things with money back then. Oh, yes, we use kana uchele ye. Uji weni back then. Yes, yes, yes. Unza. Ogo suji weni. Anyway, this is the Accra day. You and you will be in the back tray. But let me read some of the messages we've got before we delve into some more conversations. People are saying that stay J the Afro King. Good music never dies. Yeah, yeah. You're an Afro King. Yeah. Oh, tell me about it. Um, when we come to party songs. Mm -hmm. The name that rings a bell is DJ. Mm. When you put my song in, or there is not a party in Ghana or worldwide that my song is not being played. Uh, so even to date, or was it a yes, title you had? To date. Yes. Is it, is it like some title you're giving yourself as part of your branding? No, or I, you... I, don't, I don't give myself titles. Okay. Um, I remember one time I was performing in UK02 and I was giving the name um, African Star Boy. Wow. Because I used to wear a chain with the stars on, and now they calling me Afro King. Wow! <laughs> so we had an African star boy before some star boy somewhere else. Wow. Hey, so <laughs> when you began to hear people, you know, star boy, you know, original. You are the original. Yeah, eh? one. <laughs> But that's from Ishra, but then it's Kosi Wafo, and he also says bangers upon bangers, and then hit upon his stage is Stal Nu Enyabuan. Is that what you say? Stal Nu Enyano. Enyano, ah, okay. So we used to hear. Stal Nu Aha, yeah. yeah, that's. I think that's what I used to hear. But tell me how music is treating you now. Um, music is treating me good because I don't just do music, um, I write music for people. Too. Mm, I've heard a lot about that. And also, um, I'm a performer as well. Hmm. Yeah, and I do other businesses as well. But it looks like before we it looks like before we, we talk about the music you write for people, it looks like you took a break. It looks like you went off. It uh, looks like maybe you went into songwriting. What was really happening at certain um, point? You just went quiet. I, I was doing music. I was doing shows outside Ghana. Hmm. I did a show in Australia. I did some shows in Europe, UK, and I'm still doing music. Was that when you decided let me make up a scat? I didn't hear. Oh, you do Now Yeah. The money's out there. Yeah. And did you at any point you know, live there? Like now No, I stayed for a while, but yes, a bit, it was a bit. Because I had some room of so stage while wearing on any year while we tree visa. Anyway, first as well, song recorded in Ghana is Shashiwo, and that was Kilbit's biggest song, and that's from Sadiq Asa. I don't know if that's true. That's true. It's also the first um, Ghanaian song to hit one million views on YouTube mm. before um, Sakode came with um, You Will Kill Me. And that was in 2012? Yes. Okay, that's a big deal. So yeah. tell me, when you look at people bragging today about, you know, hitting one million views on YouTube, people saying, like you're saying, Afro King, people are calling themselves, oh, I'm Afro King, I'm this and that and that, and looking at where you started from, do you feel like, Charlie, they don't know what's going Sometimes on? Sometimes the education needs to be done well. Mm. I don't brag about things that I do. People see it and like, the one that you said, like Sadiq said, mm. people see it and then give me the comments. Mm. See, I don't hit on people to, I mean, make name. Mm. The name is already there, the fame is already there, the power is already there. 
God is blessing us. Did you at any point get complacent and like, oh, my Drew, Stage my enemy, now my rap, my tone, you my feature, and perform. My name is on the lips of people. You see, like you're saying, the name is already there, so there's no need for me to. Push um, I don't, I don't ever think that because um, yeah, we have yeah, two genius and they cook up all that stuff, and they are still making adverts and stuff. So, but they be a young boy, we are missing so bad. We are missing a crowd. Yeah. Now let's talk about songwriting. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot about you writing for people. Mm -hmm. um, I think at a certain point I heard Tiffany's name as one of the people you wrote for. Mm -hmm. Who else have you written for? I've written for Emil um, Barone. Oh. I've written for Atom. I didn't Wait, know so did you for, write any of them? No, no, no. <laughs> I know was my school daughter. We oh, went to wow. the same school. Myself, Endo, Sako, Gia, Stone Boy, Yawsiki, PSC, Supra, and Zizu, a couple of them. Hey, what school is that after this is that? The second day, second day, Wow. Yeah. I see. Uh, I'm written for Atom. I did the whole group for Atom. Oh. Yeah, I did a um, couple of songs for AK Soul Stress. I did some for um, Freedom Rhymes. Hey. I did songs for some people out there. <laughs> no, tell me, do you, do you charge these folks when you do these songs for them? Um, with some of them, they are just friends, good friends that um, I do for them, others too, I charge. Mm. Yeah. And how much do you charge in case somebody's um, listening and wants you to write for when them? When I do songs with my beat, my own beat, I charge 5,000 Ghana cities. Wow. Uh, with your own beat, I charge 3,000. Well, that's quite moderate. Yeah. Uh, people should be able to pay. Do, do, do people can still come begging and say, oh, Charlie, I can't afford blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, people always do that. Is it because they feel like, oh, Charlie Brappini, I saw what to be strapping this side. Charlie Brappini, me anymore. Do you mind hearing But I like the fact that you said you wrote for um, Atom. You know yeah. that you were grown, brought a lot of conversation with Gasmella talking about, you know, his beats being sampled and all that. Did you do that beat? Did you, no, you didn't do the beat, no. obviously. But did you tell him to use that beat or you just no, wrote he, it? No, you brought the beat to me. Okay. And he gave me the term you were grown. Mm. And I decided to compose the whole thing. Does he give you credit for that? Yes. Okay. He's my small boy. He's your small boy. Yeah. So when the issues were going around and plenty talks here and there. No? I was just mute. You're just mute. Yeah. You didn't find the need to no, talk no, about no, it. No, Do you think no. that was a big deal though? No, it's not necessary. Mm. You know, sometimes your good works will send you out there. Mm. Yeah. But but also, you know, the music era during the Azul so time, I'm sure you you following the conversations sure. about reviving Azonto, sure. people say it's not possible and all that, and some people say, I own Azonto, I bought Azonto and all that. You know, Azonto era was a huge era. Sure. You know, it put, put us on the world map and all of that, apart from the fact that we had High Life also putting us there. And looking at what is happening today, what's, what if, we, if I ask you to compare, what would you say the difference is? Um, the Azonto genre is very good, it's very broad. And I like the conversation that we bring back as well, so it's a good initiative. So we just need to educate the people well and then push Ghana to the globe. But Azonto is very huge. You think that we can really revive it? Yeah, because Azonto is already there. There is nobody reviving Azonto. Hmm. It's just the dance. So Sarko Yev say he's reviving Azonto. He's not. He's I not don't think Sarko Yev said we should bring back. Why is this bring That's the hashtag. Yeah, I think somebody tweeted that and Sarko Yev retweeted it. Oh, so you, he's not the one who said bring back no, Azonto? I, so. I thought he went about saying no. that. Okay. Um, Azonto have two. I mean channels: the bounce and the dance. Hmm. And I think the bounce is already still in the system. When you talk about Shatavali, baby, baby, come on to that mm -hmm. kiss, that song. When you talk about America, Omada, Omada. When you talk about Vamina MP, A Man for Girls, they are all Azoto songs. So, Sarkodia so brought the idea of let's add the dance to the song. Mm. Yeah. You think that somebody really owns it, like uh, Gasmela no, says, give no, me credit for it, you nobody, know? But for nobody me. owns Azoto. Mm. It's for the culture, it's for us Ghanaians. So we just need to educate the people well and push the song and the bounce to the top. Let's talk about your collaborations back in the day mm -hmm. and, and you know, it was a big deal back in the day. I mentioned some of the things that you have done with some of the stars. Which of them would you say was the biggest for you? I think Sue, this song that you played, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very big song. I did this song before I recorded Shashi Wu. Wow. Yeah, but. When Shashi will bring it to the limelight, I think this song fit that by oh, itself. I see. Yeah. In recent times, have you thought of collaborations with some people? Have you reached out to some people and all that? Um, I 
I'm about doing a new song with Mr. Easy. Oh, that's beautiful. After this. I did a song with Mr. Easy back then, when it was coming up. And I think I have other collaborations too. I have a lot of songs that are not yet released. Mm. I have a two-pack album that I'm bringing out. I've featured Edem, I've featured Palkese, Sako, DMT, Kran, Yapuru, Kwame Yuji, um, Kamido. Wow. And, and, and so it's a fusion of yeah. old and new school, yes. sort of, you know. Yeah. But I, I've been asked to ask you whether the episode you had with Edwoji affected your career in any no, way. No, 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 no. And do you think that has affected his career? Because, he, I don't know, he seems to be, you know. I think he's doing music and also looking to other Mm. But we all have our personal issues. Because after that, it was we've not seen the best of him after that. I don't know. <laughs> you don't think that that also has affected him? No, I don't think so. I think he, he, he's doing music. You can check out his music. But till now, the conversation about who owns the song is still hanging. The song was for our record label. We we're both on a record label. So was it for you? Was it for him? Yeah, but mm. we, we joined ideas and we made the song. So who is making money off the song? We are all performing the song. Like maybe streams and all that? Right, he puts his name and all the features they did. So basically, people will say it's for him. So I think he's making really well out of it. You're not bothered about that? Not at all. Let's talk about your new music. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about what you're up to now. You know, tell us. Apart um, from the fact that you have an upcoming album and all that, what, what, what else are you promoting now? Let's bring back as well. So <laughs> okay, so let's hear the song quickly. Uh, before we say bye bye to him, uh, let's hear the song that he's promoting. That I saw you in those days there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a slim stage, it's not a stage we have now. But it's good to see you. How are you doing? I'm great. I see. They say you are looking uh, good and it's a sign that life is actually good. Um, life is treated you good. Life is treated you good, eh? Yeah. At least we've seen the transformation in size. <laughs> Why did you intentionally say, oh, Charlie, I make skinny chair, so make I put on plenty flesh? No, no, no. no. Um, as we started, we are all. Mm-hmm. And now we are growing. You know, yeah, yeah. Some have families and some have businesses and others are moving on. So tell me. So if you just tune in, uh, this is show bars, a Thursday edition. We want our Thursdays to be more relaxed. We want to be hooking up with people that you haven't heard from in a while. And today we decided to start this day or this edition uh today's edition with dj and uh he has new tracks out uh of course we'll talk about that but i want you to cast your mind back in the day what was your favorite songs of uh dj you know you know shashiwo was a big deal for a lot of people it was that what introduced you to uh, the music industry yeah that was what introduced yes. you so a lot of people will remember him for Shashi and it's still a song on a lot of lips, you know. Yes. How do you feel about yourself after how many years, you know? Um, I feel very good because I don't just do music. I do um, music that lasts long, mm. like everlasting music. Mm. That when you play today, you think it was recorded today. Wow. Because I take my time and choose the kind of engineer I want to work with and then we deliver magic. We're live on Facebook, it's 3FM 92.7. Share our links to your friends, enjoy the conversation, send us your comments because we'll be reading that shortly. But now, let's enjoy some back to back tracks from Stage A. When we are back, the conversation continues to hear.
And somebody says, uh, this is Samuel Atu Jones, he says C7 for life. Yeah, and he seems to be having a huge fan in uh, uh, Ishraba Dennis uh, Kosi Buafo. He says, Miss G, Stay J is the ish. Forget the rest of them. <laughs> uh, uh, them school, <laughs> forget the rest, them be school girls. As on to the world, Rain Afro King and uh, Stamzi Sapon says Stay J. So a lot of people are bigging you up on social media. Unfortunately, we have to go. Uh, you want to leave us with some words. What do we do with you after now? Um, I will tell everybody to, I mean, keep supporting the brand Stay J and keep pushing Ghana music to the top. Hmm. Also, I would like to give a little shout out. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Shouts to um, the, the, the ASB <laughs> gang, you know, J Nation, Mix Master Gazi for making this possible. All my people in Tema, especially in Community 7, my family, fans, friends worldwide. Jerry J, I see you. Kwame Apinku, I know you're listening. King Cole, UK. You know what it is like. Everybody, Chile, everybody, everybody. Junior, Ashkoka, Cosby, I see you all. God bless you. We see you also, Stage J, and I must say that Stage J was very early. He came over an hour to the well, time well, of the well. interview, yes. which is really appreciated. Because I didn't want to be late like he did. <laughs> <laughs> Can he drop that? Anyway, thank you very much for coming through our studio. You, God bless you. God and bless I wish you. that we had more time to have a conversation, but I'm sure that we'll have you quite often. Maybe when the album is ready, sure. we'll have you come through our studio. Sure. And so you've been listening and watching live on Facebook our conversation with Stay J here on our Throwback Thursday edition of Show.